I know I'm alone, but I keep telling you the personal computer business is about to turn. More on that later. But how do we square that call with today's horrific 12% sell-off in Logitech International, which makes all sorts of computer peripherals and gaming accessories? Last night, Logitech reported some strong numbers. 39 cent earnings beat off a dollar 14 basis with higher than expected sales to boot. Unfortunately, rather than focusing on all that good stuff, Wall Street seized upon a single line from the company's guidance. And I quote, looking ahead to fiscal 2025, we do not anticipate an inflection point in the slope of this curve, end quote. In other words, they've had negative sales growth and they don't see that going positive in the 12 months ending in March of next year. We'll delve into that. Good. In response, the stock got crushed. So how worried should we, given the fact that the company also gave us terrific earnings speed? Let's check in with Hanukkah Faber. She's the brand new CEO of Logic International. To get a better read of the situation, Hanukkah, welcome to Man Money. Thank you so much, Jim. It's an honor to be here. Oh, thank you. Now, you know, we had, and uh, I say Brackendale may have been on the show more than almost anybody else in the history of, uh, of Man Money. Uh, so we only have his impressions of the company. Tell us your first impressions of what Logitech is like. Yeah, thanks so much. Um, it's a great company, um, and I've been here all of six weeks now, um, but I'm super excited about what I'm seeing. Obviously, the company has a great track record of value creation, um, but it has so much more uh, fantastic product engineering design capabilities, a really good global brand, a presence in more than 100 markets with really good go-to-market capabilities. Um, and finally, it's a real pioneer in sustainability. So I'm delighted by what I found. All right. So people should know you worked at Procter, most recently Unilever, where you led their $14 billion nutrition group, group uh, president. Uh, so these are clearly, uh, as it looked back into two, uh, came from the consumer uh, packaged goods segment, which I really like because it produces so many well-trained people. But what, have, what can you bring from that background to make Logitech uh, it, to get it even higher in this game? Yeah, no, I think a couple of things. Um, as I said, Logitech is a really good brand. Um, it's good, has wonderful awareness. Is it truly iconic yet? I'm not sure. So that's certainly something we will try and do over the years ahead. Um, the other thing is geography. We are in more than 100 markets. Um, but if you look at the share per, the, the sales per capita by country or the share of wallet, if you will, there's huge differences. Uh, in fact, our best country, we sell about 200 times more um, than some of the lower countries per capita. So loads of opportunities um, looking forward at, at growing that business further. And then, of course, there's innovation, which is the lifeblood of this company. And we've got so many wonderful things in market and in the pipeline. So I'm um, very optimistic. Well, before we get to this, I just want to give you an opportunity to not to take back something, because that's not what the game is about. But try to put in a little more context the idea that one, one point about how sales may not so-called inflect, because I think that you were being cautious. I don't think you were looking at the tea leaves and saying, it ain't our year. <laughs> um, I think that's well said. What we wanted to do in our, um, in, in, in our reporting today is, is make sure that we're a little cautious. Um, because while there's a lot of stuff that Logitech's got going for it, we do think the recovery to growing top line sales will be gradual. And that's because there's so much happening in the external environment. We see global GDP growth a little uneven at the moment. Um, we see inflation being a little stickier than maybe we would like. And on the corporate side, which is really important for our B2B video conferencing business, we're seeing that IT, corporate IT budgets haven't quite come back. Uh, they haven't snapped back to where they used to be. And U.S. office vacancy rates just hit an all-time high at 20 percent. And an empty office doesn't buy any Logitech stuff. So, um, uh, you know, there's just a lot of things happening in the market. That's why we're a little cautious. Um, but growth is a matter of when, not if, well, for Logitech. Well, yeah, good, because you bought a huge amount of stock back. I mean, if you really, I think you put your money where your mouth is. And if you're really, really, really concerned, I think you, wouldn't have bought a, you would not have bought a share of Logitech stock for the company. Absolutely. And we've been buying back a lot. Um, we've been throwing off a lot of cash, um, really a unique Q3 in terms of cash, uh, over $400 million uh, worth of cash. We now sit on a billion four. We have no debt. So a really pristine balance sheet, um, which is great. It gives us firepower going forward. Okay. So let's talk about uh, something that I think is very important. 
for the gaming side, which you're legendary in. We've been looking uh, very closely for, uh, for GTA 6, for Grand Theft Auto 6. And you have to have the latest and greatest in order to be able to do this stuff. And uh, my friends who are gamers don't want to be in third tier uh, hardware. They want Logitech. Can GTA spell kind of like almost like a PC refresh cycle for you? Can it be that important? Well, of course, we love gaming. It's a big part of our business. And longer term, um, again, those macros in gaming are really strong. Uh, used to be a pretty narrow audience gaming, younger men. Right. It is now men and women. It is older people and younger people. It's not just shooting games. It's really a way to socially connect. So gaming, gaming is a good neighborhood to be in. Um, a single game is not going to change our business. Um, what changes our business is some of the great innovation um, that we're putting out there. So if I look back to Q3, um, a couple of the things that we're excited about um, is our simulation business. So that actually is wheels and driving. Um, we're gaining share there. Those are some really great products, our, um, our, our wheels. Um, also, the really premium end, our ProLite mouse um, is the gaming mouse every great gamer wants, um, and that premium side of the business is also doing really well. We're proud of, of what's happening in gaming, and again, the future there is bright. No, I've read a lot of companies that are having trouble in China. I did not know how you were viewed as the super premium category in China, which apparently is holding up <laughs> extremely well. Yeah, China is really important to us. And, and again, as you say, especially that premium in, in China is very important to us. It's doing well. We had a good quarter there. Um, and um, yeah, we like China. Well, look, I just think that uh, you kind of got a reset in the stock price, probably undeserved it to some degree, but it sounds like things are going very, very well. We are thrilled to have you in your first interview. And uh, Hanukkah, we're looking forward to having you on many times when we have money. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's Hanukkah Faber, the new CEO of Logitech, L-O-G-I. Stocks down on what I regard as just being a moment of caution. You just heard what she had to say. She was not pronouncing the end of any sort of cycle. Just being, I think, what you have to do, conservative, if you're going to start and have a good run of things. Man, money is back at the break. Coming up, Kramer is bullish on the PC market. Why hardware and why now? Explained next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.